Hello science students, today we're going to talk a little bit about waves. Waves are something that uh, kind of appear throughout science. They show up in physics quite a bit when we talk about you know, sound waves or light waves. They can come up in chemistry when molecules or atoms are releasing light. Uh, waves can go through materials as well. So uh, our goal today is just to be able to identify the main characteristics that we use to talk about waves. So in the same way that when you're dealing with uh, a chemical substance that you have different ways you analyze that. So color, mass, those sorts of things. Waves have a set of characteristics as well. Now, when you think of a wave, most people think of this kind of wave. So water wave in the ocean. And we're just demonstrating this uh, with the surfer. So if he's, he can be at the top of the wave, he could be at the bottom of the wave. Um, if he could be at two separate peaks of that wave. And you can kind of see that each of these waves is a similar shape. So there's one wave and the second wave. So you could say that these two are one wave apart, one complete wave apart. Uh, this guy is only about halfway up. So we could also talk about how the, the guys at the top of the wave have much more energy because they have more potential energy, the water's further up or uh, higher up, so that gravitational potential energy comes into play. The guy in the middle has less potential energy and the guy at the bottom would have the least. So we can talk about waves in, in all of those different ways. Let's go ahead and identify the main characteristics that we need to talk about when, we, when we're discussing waves. So this is the more typical science diagram of a wave. And this, this little T here just kind of represents the graph. Uh, this means that the wave is kind of moving in that direction to the right. So the very first thing we're gonna label at the, the top or the high point, sometimes called the peak, uh, we're gonna go ahead and call that the crest. Okay, so that's kind of the first item. Uh, the crest, we're gonna kind of call the, the high energy point of the wave. high energy point of the wave. Okay, that means we also must have the bottom part. So the bottom is called the trough. So because it's sort of shaped like a trough, uh, the trough will be the low energy point of the wave. Now, sometimes these are separated by a large amount, sometimes not so much. So low energy point of Wave. Now, waves can be very tall or they can be very short. Um, and sometimes they talk about it from top to bottom, but typically what they're going to do is they're going to talk about it from the middle to either the top or the bottom. So this right here is called the amplitude. So how tall the wave is from the middle. If we were to look at the last image, the amplitude would be from the middle surfer to the top surfer, or from the middle surfer to the bottom surfer, but not from the top all the way to the bottom. So the amplitude we can just call this the height of the wave. Keeping it simple. Okay, uh, last, last two important things. So the we talked a little bit about this before, is so we need to talk about how, how wide or long the wave is. So from point to point, so where we've kind of moved to an analogous point on the wave or the, the same spot, because it's a repeating structure. This is called the wave length, okay? Uh, wavelength has a particular symbol, a little lambda symbol like that, a Greek letter amplitude, uh, typically, it's just going to be A, so we're not going to be as worried about that today. Uh, so the wavelength is the uh, distance between two um, adjacent waves. So how far apart they are. Adjacent just meaning next to, so it's, it's two consecutive waves. Last thing I want to talk about is this wave is moving. It's not just standing here. It's not, it's not just a, a squiggle. It's moving this to the right. So how many crests or troughs pass in a given amount of time is known as the frequency. So how frequent it is. So if it's moving very slow, the frequency will be low. And if it's moving very fast, the frequency will be higher. Uh, and typically, the letter we use for frequency is a little lowercase f. Um, so 
to make this short. So the number of waves passing a given point in a certain amount of time. So again, if, if this wave were moving very quickly, we might see a lot of waves pass very, very rapidly. If it's going slowly, we might only see one or two per second. Depends on the speed of the wave, uh, what type of wave it is. And we'll talk more about different types of waves and how those work in addition to kind of the, the wave equation in the follow-up videos. Thank you all for watching.